eggs in one basket on one player. Just don't happen that way. If they leave, they leave. I tell you what, I was so, so hurt when we traded Khalil Mack. He was one of my favorite players all time. Next to Charles Woodson, of course. Charles Woodson was the GOAT. And you know what? I've had to see Charles Woodson leave too. I had to see the GOAT leave. It hurt me. That was one of the players that I grew up watching during my high school years. I've seen his career. I remember he was one of my first memories of having a great player being drafted and watching him from college, wearing that number two jersey in Michigan, playing wide receiver, cornerback, punt return, just doing whatever he wanted to do on the field, his gloves, not laced up, hanging off his wrist. It was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. And then he came and played for the silver and black. Are you are you serious? He came and played. He was drafted by the silver and black. So to see my hero from Michigan come over, and I wasn't even a Michigan fan. I was just a Charles Woodson fan. Still am to this day, to this day. <laughs> Always going to rep Charles Woodson. But you know what happened to Seawood? Seawood left. He went to the Packers. And we had to watch him win a Super Bowl with another team and be happy. It's like watching your old lady or your old man, whatever it is, leave and go be with someone else for a little bit of time and they're happy they're out there at jc pennies you guys probably don't even remember jc pennies but they used to have a photo booth in jc pennies you go there about a hundred dollars you can go get go take your boo get your new boo get you some matching outfits go get you some pictures hey that's what seawood did he went with the packers he got him a new boo he went to J.C. Penney's, spent him a couple hundred dollars. Him and the Packers got a new outfit. They went to go take some pictures. And guess what? Seawood looked happy as a motherfucker. As a motherfucker. Hurt me to my heart, man. <laughs>